the RTX 3060 Ti was a great GPU. But since I like getting a new GPU every generation, it was time for an upgrade. The main things I look for in a GPU upgrade are power efficiency and performance. With the ray tracing performance being particularly important to me. I also wanted to try out the new DLSS frame generation technology that is a part of Cyberpunk 2077 and Portal RTX. After some research, it became apparent to me that the RTX 4070 was the best GPU upgrade for my PC. The RTX 4070 is the first 40 series GPU that can easily fit in my machine. It is also the first 40 series GPU that comes in at a price point that is similar to prices I pay for GPUs in the past. The size of the RTX 4070 is perfect for my machine. I've got a 280mm radiator and two 140mm fans at the front of the case. This limits the maximum size GPU that can fit in my machine. Since the RTX 4070 Founders Edition is the same size as the RTX 3060 Ti Founders Edition, it fits comfortably in my machine with a good distance from the front mounted radiator fans. The power requirements are also great for my setup. I am using a 600 watt fanless power supply. RTX 4070 consumes 200 watts or less at stock settings. The power requirements for the RTX 4070 is so low that I feel comfortable using a daisy chain PCIe cable into the two 8 pin to 12 pin adapter. This also allows for easy cable management. The RTX 3060 Ti I had previously only required a single 8 pin into the 12 pin adapter, which meant I had to hide the second daisy chain cable. One other reason for me to go with the 40 series GPU is DLSS. Hardware and Box came to the conclusion that DLSS 2 at 1440p is far superior to FSR 2. Since I game at 1440p, it is important for me to get the best image quality at that resolution as I like turning ray tracing on in games. And when you turn on ray tracing, if you want to have a high frame rate experience, you must also turn on image reconstruction like DLSS. I've seen some people commenting online that the RTX 4070 should be a 60 class GPU. Let's take a look at some performance numbers and see if this makes any sense. I'll be using numbers from the Tech Power Up review. According to Tech Power Up, RTX 4070 is 92% faster than the RTX 3060 12GB. I've never seen a 92% performance uplift in a single generation in my 10 years of building PCs. The RTX 3060 by comparison was only 24% faster than the RTX 2060. Were people really expecting to go from 24% from the 2060 to 3060 to 92% this generation? Comments that this card should be a 4060 make no sense to me. Now let's take a look at the 4070 versus 3060 Ti. The 3060 Ti versus RTX 4070 is an interesting comparison in my opinion because they both use a cut down 104 GPU, GA104 versus AD104. The cut down 104 in Nvidia's GPU history has usually been a 70 class GPU, but last generation it happened to be the RTX 3060 Ti. But if you look at the 900 series, the 10 series, and the 20 series, with the GTX 970, GTX 1070, and RTX 2070 Super, those have all been on the cut down 104 GPU. I wonder if the internet's perception of things would be different if the RTX 3060 Ti had been called an RTX 3070 instead. Looking at the tech power up review, the 4070 is around 45% better in raster and 55% better in ray tracing. Around 50% faster than the 3060 Ti when you combine the raster and RT results. That is a nice jump in my opinion. 45 to 50% faster is a great gen on gen increase for the cut down 104 class GPU. Now if you look at the 4070 versus the 3070, you get an improvement of 27%. That seems like a solid generational increase. It's not a great increase, but it's not like they barely improve things. 25% is about what I expect for a generational improvement. The RTX 4070 is also around two times faster than the RTX 2070 Founders Edition, 
which also launched at $600. The RTX 2070 was my first RTX GPU. Two times faster in two generations is impressive. It is true that the RTX 2070 could be had at $500 at launch. So there is a price difference. But when I put $500 in October 2018 into the inflation calculator, I get almost exactly the $599 asking price of the RTX 4070. So inflation adjusted the price is almost the same. At any rate, I am just happy that today, you can easily buy any current gen GPU you want at near the MSRP. That's great news for PC gamers. I had to stand in line for 8 hours at a physical store to get the RTX 3060 Ti a few years ago. But for the RTX 4070, all I had to do was be online when it launched, and was able to order it easily on BestBuy.com. Best Buy is out of stock now of the Founders Edition, but it looks like NVIDIA has the Founders Edition available for purchase through their website. One of the things I like to do when getting a new GPU is doing some tuning in MSI Afterburner. I got some good results with undervolting 20 and 30 series GPUs in the past. I've heard that the 40 series can also get good results with undervolting. So that's what I did with this GPU while comparing it to my last GPU. Here is the test system. I am running the Core i5-13600K overclocked and undervolted at the following settings. The RAM has been set to DDR4-4000, C16 with tune timings in gear 1. The GPUs were both undervolted and overclocked in MSI Afterburner. I am comparing the RTX 3060 Ti to the RTX 4070 here because that was my last GPU and the only GPU I have to compare it to. In the shadows of the Tomb Raider benchmark, with the highest preset and high R2 shadows enabled, and the resolution set to 1440p DLSS quality, the average FPS goes from 97 FPS on the 3060 Ti to 155 FPS on the RTX 4070, a change of 60%. The improvement for the minimum FPS is even more impressive as that increased by 84% from 68 FPS on the 3060 Ti to 125 FPS on the 4070. In Borderlands 3, with the Ultra preset and the resolution set to 2560 by 1440, the average FPS on the 3060 Ti was 102 FPS. This improved by 49% on the RTX 4070, which produced an average FPS result of 152. In Guardians of the Galaxy, with Ultra Settings and Ultra RT at 1440p DLSS quality, we see another solid increase with the average FPS increasing by 55%. The 4070 produced 56% more frames during the duration of the benchmark. In the end, this is a solid upgrade in my opinion. Tech Power Up found the RTX 4070 to be 45% faster in raster and 55% faster in ray trace titles. Combining those results, the 4070 seems to be around 50% faster than the RTX 3060 Ti. Tech Power Up found the RTX 4070 to be around 2x faster than the RTX 2070. I had the RTX 2070 at launch, so it's nice to see GPUs in the same pricing class improve by two times in two generations. The RTX 4070 Founders Edition is compact and very quiet. It's the same size as the 3060 Ti Founders Edition. G6X memory makes up for the 192-bit bus, and after overclocking, I was able to improve memory speeds by over 10%. The RTX 4070 is the fastest 200-watt GPU on the market today, and that probably won't change anytime soon. It was also fun for me to undervolt and overclock the card to improve power efficiency even further. The RTX 4070 is the fastest GPU that can easily fit inside my machine. As someone who bought an RTX 2070 near launch, I won't complain about the price. RTX 2070 MSRP was $500, with the FE being $599. I entered that into the inflation calculator, and it came out to be almost exactly the 4070 MSRP of $599. But comparing Founders Edition to Founders Edition, where the 2070 FE was already $599, the 4070 is comparatively cheaper than the 2070 FE was, taking inflation into account. My only negative of the 
RTX 4070 is that we had to wait a while for it to arrive. It launched nearly five months after the 4080. Time for me to go play some games. Thanks for watching.